Hello and welcome back to this channel. Dear students, this topic is radiation mechanism of antenna. From the exam point of view, you may expect the question like this. Define the term antenna and explain its radiation mechanism. Or the question may be like this. How the radiation is produced from an antenna. Before this, we will discuss the definition of term antenna. We know that in a very simplified language, in case of communication, there are two ends, one is transmitter, another is receiver. So, there should be some device which will transfer radio waves or electromagnetic waves from transmitter to the receiver. This device is an antenna. So, if the, this structure is used at the transmitting end, then to generate the electromagnetic waves, then this structure is called transmitting antenna. On the same lines, if this structure is used at receiving end, which will capture, which will receive all electromagnetic waves, it is called a uh, receiving antenna. So this is the definition of an antenna. We can well say in a simplified language, it is the means which is used to transfer electromagnetic waves from transmitter to the receiver. Now, about the radiation mechanism. Consider a simple example. If we are talking about a wire through which current I is flowing, we know that when we say some current is flowing through the wire, that means number of electrons are moving from one end to the another end. So do remember some basic things. If I'm talking about an electron, say E, and if this electron is stationary, that means electron is not moving, it is not in motion. In that case, there will not be any radiation. So in this case, radiation is not possible. Same logic, if I'm talking about an electron, which is traveling, which is moving with some constant velocity, then since the velocity is constant, then also there will not be any radiation. So no radiation is possible if electron is moving with constant velocity. Then under which condition radiation is possible if there is acceleration of an electron or deacceleration of an electron that means there is sudden change in the velocity of electron then and then only the radiation is possible now first we'll discuss about the simple structure we'll discuss the single wire structure which is acting as an antenna and how the radiation or how the electromagnetic waves are generated from this single structure or single wire so first is the curved wire as shown in this diagram, it is not a straight wire. This wire is curved. So at this end, where curve is shown, there will be sudden change in the velocity of moving electrons. Let us assume that the electrons are passing, moving uh, through this uh, structure. So at this curved portion, there is acceleration or deacceleration because of which the radiation comes out from both the ends. Another structure, Consider the wire is bent. So at this point, we are getting a bend. Again, due to acceleration or deacceleration, that means sudden change in the velocity of moving electrons, radiation is possible. Next is truncated wire. Truncated wire means this is one end, the other end is suddenly closed. This is called a truncation. So whenever the other end is truncated, due to sudden change in the velocity of moving electrons, radiation is possible. Next is discontinuous wire. See, up to this portion, we have certain diameter of the wire through which electrons are moving. After that, diameter suddenly gets increased because of which there will be acceleration or deacceleration and radiation is possible. The last type of uh, single wire which is producing radiation is consider a wire which is terminated at ZL. Here the impedance is, that is ZL which is called load impedance. Terminated means Certain load impedance is connected at one end of the wire. Again, due to acceleration and deacceleration at this end, the radiation is generated. So this is about the single wire which is used to generate the radiation. Next is how the radiation is generated from two wires. This is rather most important part. So we are considering a short dipole. See. Up till now, we haven't studied uh, the different types of antennas or what are the different categories of antenna. We'll study it later. Presently, do remember like this. This is the uh, type of antenna which is called short dipole antenna. It is center feed antenna. Center feed means the signal which we want to transmit is applied 
or feed at the center of this antenna. So this is, let us say, the corresponding signal. Observe this uh, time intervals. The total time period is t. So this is the positive half cycle. Positive half cycle is from 0 to t by 2. Negative half cycle is from t by 2 to this time period is t. So negative half cycle is from t by 2 to t. Again, if we are talking about only positive half cycle, then from 0 to t by 4, I mean, if I am talking about this portion, this portion, hai, yaha se, 0 to t by 4, the charges goes on increasing, the signal goes on increasing from 0 to t by 4 and from t by 4 to t by 2, that means this portion. So in this portion, the charges starts uh, decreasing. Now, suppose this kind of waveform we are applying, that means as I said, it is center field for this short dipole. This short dipole is a structure. The simple structure is like this. This is the simple structure of a short dipole. Now, if we apply this type of signal to the short dipole antenna, this is one of the types of antenna, then radiation is produced. That's what we are discussing, uh, how the radiation is generated. Consider the portion 0 to t by 4. Keep in mind, this is not the portion for entire positive half cycle. They go, pura positive half cycle is 0 to t by 2. We are just considering this portion. 0 to t by 4. At t by 4, the value is maximum. At 0, value is minimum. That is 0. So we are considering, we are talking about this portion 0 to t by 4. Now in this portion, the value goes on increasing. And we are considering that the upper portion of this short dipole is positive. Lower portion is negative. So three lines are generated. Why three only? See, there is no rule. This is clear cut and assumption that we are considering three lines are generated uh, during the portion 0 to t by 4. Let us say these three lines travel a distance lambda by 4 where lambda is the operating wavelength and we know that lambda is c by f. f is the operating frequency, c is the speed of light. So, Three lines are generated during the period 0 to t by 4. These three lines are in downward direction. This is clear cut assumption. And the these three lines travel a distance lambda by 4. Now at this instant, that is at t by 4, I'm talking about this part. At this instant, the value is maximum. After that, the value starts reducing. So during the portion, next portion, t by 4 to t by 2. Again, don't get confused. T by 4 to T by 2 is the portion of positive half period only. But in this case, the charge starts decreasing, value starts decreasing from T by 4 to T by 2. In that case, again, we will say that three more lines of force are generated. These lines of force will be in opposite direction compared to the earlier case. Why? Because, as you see, 0 to T by 4, this portion, this portion, is charges built up or charges increase or so we consider the downward direction which is this portion mein, t by 4 say uh, t by 2 ta. from t by 4 to t by 2 the charges starts decreasing uh, uska value come ho hai. so we will consider three lines are generated and these directions of these lines of force will be in opposite uh, compared to the earlier case so in the case we have considered downward direction consider kiya tha. so now the three lines generate ho gaye, the directions of these three lines is opposite that means it will be in upward direction as usual, we are going to consider that the lines that are in this case, there are three lines of force that are in this case. Those lines of force travel a distance lambda by 4. So, this portion, this is the new three lines generated, which are in upward direction. These three lines this portion mein generate ho t by 4 to t by 2. They, they will travel in upward direction. The first three lines, the, all these initially generated three lines will again travel a distance lambda by 4. Just say, we consider that in one portion, in one quarter time, mein, 0 to t by 4, it is a quarter time. Usme, the distance travelled by these lines of force is lambda by 4. So, this portion, mein, t by 4 to t by 2, mein, three new lines generate. Ho gaye, aur jo pehle ke jo lines the, they will again travel an additional distance of lambda by 4. So, total distance travelled by these initial lines these initial lines, red colored lines, these initial lines will be lambda by 2, pahile ka lambda by 4, or abhi ka lambda by 4. 
and these three lines are newly generated during this interval t by 4 to t by 2 so they are in upward direction that means at the end of interval 0 to t by 2 जिसमें हमने दोनों केसेस कंसीडर किए एक केस था पहले तीन लाइन जनरेट हो गए इन डाउनवर्ड डायरेक्शन सेकंड केस थ्री मोर लाइन सर जनरेटेड इन अपवर्ड डायरेक्शन सो 0 टू t by 2 ड्यूरिंग दिस इंटरवल टोटल सिक्स लाइंस ऑफ फोर्स आर जनरेटेड अब ये वेव फॉर्म देखो एट t by 2 द वैल्यू बिकम जीरो सिग्नल बिकम जीरो दैट मींस देयर इज नो फोर्स व्हिच विल कीप और व्हिच विल अट्रैक्ट दिस लाइंस ऑफ फोर्स because this at t by 2 value become 0 so when once the value become 0 there is no force which will hold these lines of force and because of which these lines of force which are 6 in numbers 6 is again assumption these lines of force will detach will separate out from the structure and the next structure or next uh, uh, type of or form of this uh, lines of force will be like this this is called radiation pattern. बहुत simple है. जैसे t by 2 में value 0 हो जाएगा, तो ये lines of force जितने भी तैयार हो गए थे, वो detach हो जाएंगे. And because of which, this type of, uh, this kind of structure is obtained, which is called radiation pattern. अब देखो, ये सिर्फ positive half cycle में discuss किया. Negative half cycle में same process repeat होगा, but in opposite direction. मतलब जैसे हम लोगों ने पहले तीन uh, lines of force downward consider किए थे, अब negative portion में t by 2 to g, just in the next quarter period of time <clears throat> the lines of force will be in up uh, will be in upward direction then again in next uh, quarter period of time it will be in downward direction and again radiation pattern is produced likewise if you go on continuously applying if you go on continuously feeding this waveform to the short dipole the radiation will be continuous so this is about the radiation mechanism of an antenna so dear students that's it for today's session so thank you thanks a lot for watching this video